folks, so I thought I would show you this uh, little thing I've been uh, um, making because essentially I'm waiting for a new desolder, uh, a tip for my desolder gun. Uh, these things have a tendency, uh, tendency to jam and get full of uh, stuff and uh, even though I clean it regularly, uh, this one is actually just uh, all full of uh, nasty stuff now at this stage so I can't use it anymore. So I'm waiting for a, a replacement one. So um, I, I can't work on boards, I have a few uh, boards to fix, I can't work on them. So I've been making this instead, which is essentially a portable version of my larger um, uh, Z80 tester. If you haven't seen the video, I encourage you to uh, watch it first. Uh, it goes through how a Z80 works and how obviously old computers and consoles work by making a very, very simple no amp um, computer. So it doesn't look like much, but this is a computer. So what we have is a Z80 here. And this is powered by a, a, well, a 9 volt battery here that is converted to a 5 volt and I'm using a 555 timer to provide a, a very slow clock. So the, the computer will actually power, uh, power on. I have the um, M1 line here just to indicate that this is, the cycle is happening. And then uh, the computer looks at address uh, 0. So these are my address lines here. And I have LEDs just to uh, have a visual um, impression of what's happening so, and I have a reset button here because when you power it on I, you want to reset it first so it resets the M1 is toggling uh, indicating that the cycle should be twice um, there you go it should toggle twice or four times actually per clock cycle and it goes through all the address so it goes to address 0 sees so there's nothing there it goes to address 1 sees so that there's nothing there and goes to address two, or three, etc., etc. So it goes I four bits here of uh, data, uh, so of uh, address uh, lines represented. That's enough for me to have an idea whether the CPU is working or not. It's a rough estimation of, uh, of that. But anyway, what I wanted to show you is because I'm powering this guy through um, a nine volt battery, and this needs five volt. I have to use one of those uh, 7805 voltage regulator and. Uh, Can you even see the uh, let me check there you go. 7805 voltage uh, regulator? Um, these are common, very common parts and very handy. It's a very, very easy but in inefficient way to uh, regulate your power because it generates heat. But you see these everywhere. Um, so 78 is uh, is the, uh, the, the usually you'll have a letter like L or LM or. Actually, maybe not LN, there's something different. But 78 and then two numbers like 05, 06, uh, 09, uh, 12. Um, I don't think I have any other. No, I'm sure there's uh, lots of variants. You also have the 79 series, which provides minus voltage. But um, in this case, we have the 7805. Uh, this is our, uh, our voltage. And uh, what happens here is it's a three. Oh, God. Three pin uh, <laughs> regulator, center pin is uh, a ground, and here you have your input voltage, so in this case it's 9 volt, and it outputs 5 volt. The beauty uh, with these is that even if I sent, uh, let's just say 20 volts, it would still output 5 volts. If I sent 12 volts, it would still output 5 volts. Uh, so it's a, it's a handy one. The problem is that you get this voltage drop because all that unused voltage has to go somewhere, so it gets uh, the voltage gets dropped and dissipated in heat. So this is why these get really, really hot when they, they work and you need a heat sink uh, behind them just to dissipate the heat. So it's very, very inefficient, but it's it's a very easy to implement. So I just have a couple of caps here just to smooth out the input and output voltage. But in this case, I probably don't even need them. But what we want to check is whether we need a heat sink for this guy. So um, what we need to calculate first is the voltage and see how much power power that creates. So we'll, uh, we'll measure the, uh, the uh, um, how many amps this, this uh, draws. I've actually done that before. I know that it draws 0.12 amps. Um, so we're gonna use that. Uh, I just literally just measured um, with my uh, multimeter here and it, it draws 0.12 amps. Um, and then with that, we'll calculate the, uh, the power consumption and using the data sheet, we look at how much uh, increase in degrees this turn plays into. So in this case, I know this guy gets uh, gains 23 degrees Celsius degree by uh, 
her what. Um, so uh, you, you can see why, like if you have something that, that uses 10 watts, straight away that's 200 degrees uh, Celsius that you've gained um, on, on this guy. So uh, let's, uh, let's, check, let's check how much uh, voltage is dropped, so in this case we calculate by, uh, um, it's the input voltage minus the output voltage, so we get 4 volts of voltage drop. Uh, from there we can calculate the power, which is usually the, uh, the voltage um, in this case the voltage drop that's what we're looking at by the current consumption um, so in this case we have 4 volts by 0.12 amps and we get uh, 0.48 watts so it doesn't look like a lot but let's just let's see how many uh, Celsius we're actually getting uh, from that so um, because it's, it's Celsius per watt we're just gonna Calculate. Sorry, we're gonna um, multiply point uh, forty-eight or twenty-three. Okay, point forty-eight. What we get is eleven or four uh, Celsius. So this uh, there's an increase of eleven uh, degrees Celsius when we power this on. Uh, so it's not enough to fry our component. It's well within specs, but um, and also it means that it, it, we we won't need. Uh, a voltage regulator. However, it also means that I, I will feel if I actually have this on, it won't take long, I will feel the increase in, uh, in temperature. And there you go, yeah, it feels slightly warmer to the, the touch already, but it won't go much further than that. Um, so it's a, it's a very handy way to, uh, to uh, regulate your voltage, but it's somewhat inefficient uh, in a way. Uh, in this case, it doesn't matter too much. Um, it's only uh, it's only with minimal uh, voltage consumption. But there you go. I just wanted to show you how these work. Uh, very very handy. And if you if you're um, if you're actually just uh, you know uh, salvaging parts from uh, from a board, just make sure you keep these because they they come in very handy. They fail rarely, and they're they're very very handy. Anyway, folks, thank you very much, and uh, see you next time.